Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's summer, it's hot, and you're wondering what sunscreens are available out there that won't break you out. I've got you covered in this video. Next. <music> like my new setting since we're talking about sunscreens I thought I'd do my video outdoors today we're out here in my backyard nice and cool it's not too hot so it's really perfect to showcase some of my favorite sunscreens that I use today the idea for this video came about because my son who is going through puberty is suffering from back knee so I immediately went on a hunt for the best sunscreens out there that won't break you out natural and gentle enough for the face for the skin here you guys all know the Neutrogena sunscreen it, it's everywhere at Target and Walmart it's, it's a broad spectrum SPF which means it protects you from both UVA and UVB rays and it's SPF 70 so it's way up there as far as sun protection so for the longest time, my whole family has been using this. It's gentle enough for the face and also for the whole body. So this is actually more of a chemical sunscreen. But lately, I noticed that whenever I applied this onto my son's back, it would really aggravate the acne and make it worse. So I stopped this and I went on a hunt for other alternatives that are maybe more natural um, and i found that physical sunscreens are really great alternatives so today i'm going to talk about all sorts of sunscreens sunscreen's great for makeup or makeup with sunscreen this is not part of the top seven sunscreens that i'm going to be talking about but this is still a good alternative if you're looking for sun protection it's readily available at target and at walmart i still highly recommend it but for those of you who are more sensitive, I do have an alternative. So as far as sunscreen for all over the body or maybe more sensitive areas such as um, the face, the back, you know, where you normally would have acne, um, I went with the Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen. So this is what it looks like. Bear Republic is actually a brand that's pretty new to me, but I did some research and this is a clean brand that's really committed to providing good quality ingredients that are good for the body, that are healthy for the body. I actually compared this with the Sun Bum. Um, mineral sunscreen and I found that this one has more of a sheer finish it's not too sheer like most mineral sunscreen it's still gonna have that white cast to it and I'll show you what that looks like it still leaves this white cast and it's actually gonna take a while for it to really absorb into the skin but it's a lighter finish and it actually says sheer finish here at the bottle it's not really sheer i don't know why they say sheer but it's definitely a lighter formula compared to the sun bum mineral sunscreen it has broad spectrum broad spectrum spf 30 100 percent zinc oxide it's a type of sunscreen that won't absorb into the body and that it's really um, more of a natural sunscreen. This is great for acne prone skin. I've used this on my son's back every day for the past couple of weeks and it's really worked for him and it hasn't aggravated his back knee for sure. So highly recommend this sunscreen if you have sensitive skin. It's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's great for acne prone skin. The next one, is actually a combination of physical and chemical sunscreen. This is the Olay Complete UV 365 Daily Moisturizer. If you're a busy mom like me, I actually prefer having my sunscreen mixed in with my moisturizer. It's just easier this way. It cuts off an extra step. This has 6% octanoxate and zinc, 3% zinc oxide. Um, it has broad spectrum SPF 15. I feel like SPF 15 might not be strong enough for those really hot summer days. Maybe in the winter time, this is great for the face. It's great as an everyday moisturizer slash sunscreen. 
immediately absorbs into the skin. You don't have to rub it in too much um, before it absorbs into the skin. It's great under makeup. It's oil-free and it has a lot of vitamins E and antioxidants that are gonna protect your skin from environmental damage. So highly recommend it. I found mine at Costco. They come in two packages, which is great. So that should last you for a really long time. Seven. Don't poop on me, bird. The next sunscreen that I have is probably no surprise to you guys. This is the Neutrogena Sport Face Oil-Free Lotion, and it has broad spectrum SPF 70. If you're not sensitive or you don't have acne prone skin, I highly recommend it. It is a chemical sunscreen. The key ingredients are avobenzone, um, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone. Specifically, the oxybenzone ingredient has been known to cause um, some skin reactions or cause acne. Um, so if you are highly sensitive, I would suggest that you avoid this sunscreen but even before my son was going through puberty we were definitely using this all over our faces it didn't break me out and I have acne prone skin it's a good sunscreen for the face overall and it has a high SPF it's one of those sunscreens that are great for no makeup days I wouldn't wear this under makeup because it is pretty thick and I'll show you on the screen how it has kind of like a glue like texture so it's thicker than the other sunscreens that I've previously shown but um, it's not sticky at all it won't clog pores and it's oil free this is perfect for you know a day at the beach where you really need that intense sun protection and you don't have to wear makeup the next item that I recommend is the Clinique Pep Start daily UV protector broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 50 I really like this because it's a tinted sunscreen and it's one of the lightest sunscreens that I've actually used it's just as light as the Olay sunscreen that I've mentioned earlier um, but what sets this apart is that it's tinted and it's a physical sunscreen which means it's good or a nat more of a natural sunscreen the key ingredients to this is the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide almost feels like a moisturizer for the face i find that i still need to put on moisturizer this is great under makeup because it's so light and thin um, and also it has a little bit of a tint that could kind of perfect the skin a bit more when you want to even out your skin tone this is good for that clinique actually has two kinds of um, mineral sunscreen the one that says pep start is cheaper and it's tinted so i like that about it i think it's about two dollars cheaper this one is 19 dollars and 50 cents at ulta even though this is tinted it's really great for all skin tones because it has that technology to where it takes on the color of your skin as you rub it into your face on their website it claims that it's also good for under the eye area and not too many sunscreens can say that because you know what it feels like when sunscreen gets into your eyes right <laughs> very uncomfortable and it stings most of the time but this one doesn't do that so that's great it's oil free it's non acnegenic and it's great under makeup or even under BB cream the next one I'm gonna recommend is actually a foundation with sunscreen and this I would say it's my most favorite sunscreen of all it is the it cosmetics CC cream it has an SPF 50 so SPF is high up there really great full coverage foundation with sunscreen what I like about this product is that it's hydrating it's anti-aging and it corrects dark spots so if you're like me who has acne prone skin who has acne scars you know this is really good at evening the skin tone but also it has these ingredients that claims to remove or lighten the dark spots on your face so i really like that about this product perfect foundation 
for the summertime. It is a physical sunscreen, so it won't break you out, especially for those of you who have very sensitive skin. It's kind of like a one and done product for the summer. You put this on, you have your moisturizer, you have your sunscreen, and you have your foundation. The only downside I would have to say is their color selection. I'm in the color tan. Um, it's perfect for my darker uh, skin color for the summer. Great product, I highly recommend. Second to the last item on my list is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen. What I like about this product is that it's not liquid or cream. So it's actually a powder sunscreen. So this has SPF 45. It's also a physical sunscreen. So it won't absorb into the skin. It's good for the skin, especially for people with highly sensitive, acne prone skin. It's more of a finishing powder after makeup. This one is translucent. And so it's not gonna give any color, extra color or unwanted color on the face. So I noticed that whenever I use this product, it made my makeup last longer. It took much longer for the oils to kind of peek through the makeup. And so I love that about it. it. Kept me matte for days. Not really for days, but long enough to where I started noticing my oils haven't come through yet. That's even in the summer heat, um, being under the sun, being at the pool for my kids. Um, swim practices and so it's been a wonderful product it is on the more expensive um, range it's $30 for such a small amount about 0.12 ounces not even an ounce um, but it does wonders for the face the SPF is high up there it's SPF 45 oh and it's perfect for just an on-the-go touch-up you know that most sunscreens you need to reapply every two hours well this one you can just throw it in your purse if you feel like it's been two hours it's easy enough to just dust it all over your face and you're good to go it's a great mineral sunscreen and it contains vitamin a c and e which are good for the skin and i've never seen any powder that could keep me matte and it's good on top of makeup if you have dry skin i don't recommend this only downside which you know peter thomas roth had bad reviews for was that the brush was a little stiff. Um, it is a little stiff. It's not like the makeup brushes that I use. And by the way, I have a video on my favorite makeup brushes. If you wanna check that out, I'll put it up in the cards here. But anyway, it's a little bit stiff. But if you don't mind that, my face don't mind it. And I would definitely buy this more for um, mattifying and really just good sun protection overall so before i forget of course i wanted to give you guys some kind of lip balm with sunscreen this is the sun balm spf 30 lip balm and so this is the clear kind it's very moisturizing on the lips definitely lighter than aquaphor um and it absorbs more easily than aquaphor it's a lighter formula and so i really love that about it it has spf 30 just like aquaphor at ulta they have the same price range which is three dollars and 99 cents it's great under lipsticks or liquid lipsticks it also has great ingredients such as cocoa butter and aloes and so if you're looking for a fun lip balm for the summer this is it so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you back in my corner soon bye